Korea's land is crisscrossed by a vast number of rivers and streams, making it essential for the country's military to conduct regular river crossing exercises, which involves setting up temporary bridges. But we can skip that part when you have tanks that can tackle such obstacles without such aids with ease. Kim Yun bin introduces us to Korea's very own K2 tanks. Boasting a maximum speed of 70 kilometers per hour, Korea's K2 tanks take over the road one by one, displaying the country's infantry prowess. Before infiltrating into the enemy's territory, the K2s release smoke to camouflage themselves from the enemy's view. Friendly troops cross first, and the K2s follow behind and cross the river, securing the premises. This is a river crossing military exercise that featured 10 K200 armored vehicles and 30 K2 tanks. And the highlight of the drill was witnessing the K2 units cross the river without the need of a temporary bridge, as the tank can submerge into rivers up to four meters deep. Most of the Korea's rivers are four meters in depth, so the K2 can cross most rivers on the peninsula to tackle the enemy covertly. The K2 predecessor, the K1A1, also an amphibian infantry unit, required up to four hours to go underwater, and it was limited to depths of up to two meters. However, the K2 can not only reach depths twice as much, but also at a fraction of the time, as it only requires 30 minutes for the tank to submerge, making the K2 more suitable in times of crisis, where every second counts. Kim Hyun-bin, Arirang News.